Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford and here are your 7 Action News headlines. A University of Michigan researcher facing charges of child pornography is expected in court today. 48 year old Michael Ziedler is accused of using his work computer to share the illegal images. The feds say he also admitted having a hidden camera in his bathroom at home to record exchange students who stayed with his family. U of M says Ziedler is suspended and the university is cooperating with the investigation. Another round of job cuts at General Motors. The automaker says it plans to lay off about 50 workers at its Brownstown battery plant. It follows plans to idle the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant and warn transmission. Those cuts are expected next year. State lawmakers narrowly approved a bill to evaluate public schools with letter grades from A through F. The Republican-led legislature endorsed a statewide accountability structure that will begin next year. Each school would not receive a cumulative letter grade. Instead, they would be graded in five categories. The bill now goes to the governor. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Rexy. Going to be a little chilly in the morning, but we'll warm up in the afternoon with some sunshine, at least to start the day. 44 on Wednesday, 46 Thursday. That rain-snow combination, more rain than snow. Certainly just rain on Thursday, then rain-snow on Friday, but it doesn't stick to the roads with temperatures that warm. So we're okay. It dries out for the weekend right now. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, look dry and mild. Good deal. Thanks, Rexy. If you're not getting enough sleep, then maybe the reason you're craving that junk food, that's my problem, huh? A new study out of Germany shows the area of your brain that controls what you eat and the hunger hormones get really active when you're tired and that causes you to overeat and brings on a risk of obesity. It may also explain why some people are more likely to head to the fast food line instead of grabbing a salad or some fruit. Those are your headlines. Remember to go to WXYZ.com or our 7 app for news anytime. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and 7 First Alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.